Let's rewind a little bit, okay? We introduced this idea of vectors, or at least we introduced the, the word, because we said that complex numbers can be thought of not just as one decimal expansion, but as two. Do you remember that? It's like it's not enough just to have one value. You need both if you're really going to express a complex number. That's what a vector is, okay? Now, in rectangular form, what are those two numbers? Like the x and the y, what do they actually mean? Geometrically, what do they mean? The, the x means like a, yeah, horizontally, a length, and the y is vertically, a height, right? So you can talk about horizontal and vertical displacement. And that could be your pair of numbers, okay? But much more common than these two is what we developed with polar form. Polar form also has a pair of numbers, but they're not about horizontal and vertical displacement. What are they about, the two numbers in polar form? Yeah, very good. Direction. Which of the numbers gave us direction? Which number? It's the argument, the theta. That means like turn in some angle. Okay, that gives you the direction. And then there's magnitude. And we gave that the name modulus, right? Okay. So this direction magnitude idea, it's what I'm going to um, follow down in this lesson. Okay? Now I want you to consider the complex number, in fact we'll just write it down here. Consider the complex number 1 plus 2i. Okay, 1 plus 2i. Now we already know we can represent this in a bunch of ways. For instance, on this guy, the um, complex plane, I could call this the imaginary axis. This is the real axis. And I could say there's a point, there's a point on this plane that represents 1 plus 2i. Okay, let's put some scale on here. So if I said there's 1 and there's 1, 2, okay, 1 plus 2i would be here. Okay, do you agree with that? That's, that's where I could describe z. Okay? Now it's got coordinates. 1, 2, let's call that p. Okay? Now, that point p by itself can represent 1 plus 2i. But the idea of a vector says, well, how about we use these? Okay, now onto your diagram, instead of just writing P, I'd like you to draw a vector which represents this interval with an arrow. Okay? And you can see how that tells you magnitude and direction. The length of this tells you the magnitude, and which way it's facing tells you direction. Okay? So now I've got some extra coordinates here, right? So I can say P. The point P, that's one of my representations for 1 plus 2i. Okay? But I can also say the vector OP, right? The vector OP. And importantly, you'll notice the direction matters, right? The direction matters. So it's O up to P, not P down to O, right? OP and PO at the same magnitude. But they don't have the same direction, do they? Does this make sense? So to indicate that, I have this arrow here, and the order of the letters really matters to me. Okay? Now, here's the thing. If direction and magnitude are the important features about this, at the moment my vector starts from O. But it doesn't have to start from O. It can start anywhere you like. So for instance, if I add some extra coordinates on here, let's move over a little bit. So one, something like that. If I put onto this diagram another pair of coordinates, like, say, these guys, this one here, what's that? That's 3, negative 1, let's call that A. And here. What's this going to be? 4, 1. Okay. Now, neither of these points represent 1 plus 2i. Neither of the points represent 1 plus 2i. But being that, I can connect A and B with a direction and a magnitude. In other words, I can connect them with a vector. That vector I've just drawn, the vector AB, that is another equally valid expression or way of representing 1 plus 2i, right? It still means translate one unit to the right and two units up, still doing the same thing, okay? So what I want you to note is, note, the magnitudes are the same, right? AB, BA, right? Those magnitudes are the same, whichever perspective you're, you're looking at, right? But this vector and this vector are not the same vector. They're facing opposite directions. 